Hi there, I'm Janine Bryant with Easy Right Sizing and welcome back to this video series that talks all about emptying out a house. Now if you missed the first video, I would encourage you to go back and watch that first video because today we're going to be talking about step three of a five step process. So let me remind you of the graphic that I have, the, the kind of framework that we're dealing with as far as emptying out the house. Here it is. Um, in the last video, we spoke about the first two steps of this right sizing process or this process of emptying out a house. And those are the most important steps. You have to decide what am I keeping and what am I giving to family and friends when we're emptying out the house. That means after those first two steps are done, the best stuff, quite frankly, in the house is now gone because you've moved out the things that you are keeping, you've moved out the things that your family and friends are keeping, and now we're left with the rest of the stuff, all right? Now, there's a, a study that was published recently that stated that the average American home had 300,000 items in it. And I love that statistic because it is quite shocking. But when you start looking around your house and seeing all the objects in each and every room, those things add up quickly. And when you are downsizing or when you're cleaning out the house of a loved one who has passed away, after you've removed all the best stuff, all the stuff that you wanted to keep and that family members wanted to keep, everything that's left needs to be dealt with before the house can be put on the market and sold. So that brings us to step number three. That is selling. Of all the things that's left, the number one goal here is to really empty out the house because I remind my clients all the time that the main asset here is the house itself, okay? It's the container for your stuff, not actually the stuff in it. Does that make sense? So for after we've removed the best of the best, for, uh, steps number one and two, everything that's left uh, really is just a barrier to us selling the house and uh, liquidating that asset. The first thing that we do from all of those objects that are left is to try to sell them. There are several different ways you can go about selling whatever is left, all right? You could have a garage sale. You could list things online, whether that's selling it on Craigslist or selling it on Facebook Marketplace. You could try selling things on eBay. Keep in mind that you um, need to have the technology um, awareness of being able to do this effectively and be willing to commit the time involved in meeting buyers if you're selling locally or packaging and shipping an item if you're selling nationally or internationally. You could also um, hire an estate sale company or a tag sale company. That's the business that I'm in. My senior move management business here in Lincoln, Nebraska also runs estate sales. So that's a situation where after you've removed everything that you want to keep, you invite a company in and for a fee, they will come in, organize everything, price everything and run a, a sale for you on your behalf. Another option would be having an auction. Those are generally done outdoors where an auction company comes to your home. They again organize it all, usually haul it outside and then run an auction. Um, or you could also work with individual buyers and sell things sort of piecemeal. You could call dealers in your area. You could call pickers um, that are local to you. You could work with antique shops, used furniture stores, consignment shops, and sell things off that way. So whichever method you choose to sell the objects that are left in the home after you've taken out the best stuff and you're trying to sell whatever is left, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. And please check out our next video because that's going to focus on steps four of this process of emptying out the home, which is donating. Thanks for watching. And again, as always, if you want any more right sizing tips, check out our website at easyrightsizing.com.